Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us on yet another episode of Rev, Singapore's ultimate motoring channel. With me, Rene, your host, bringing you all things motoring. We've been receiving tons of emails, people requesting SUVs, sports cars, you name it, we receive it. And trust me when I say we will do our very best to showcase as many of your requests as possible. But in the meantime, do we have a treat for you? The car that we're going to showcase today has been receiving so many emails, I can't even count them. It's the Italian Speedster, the Alpha 4C. Over the last few years, we have offerings from Alpha, like the Giulietta's, which are available in a 1.4 and 1.8 configurations, and also the Alpha Mito. With the Alpha 4C, it's been an anxious wait for many to get their hands on this lightweight, affordable supercar, designed by Alfa Romeo engineers and made at the Maserati plant in Modena. In terms of power to weight ratio, the Alpha 4C is going to give you an equivalent to a Porsche Cayman. The Alpha 4C comes with a 1,750cc four-cylinders direct injection turbocharged petrol engine which generates 240 bhp at 6,000 rpm and chocks up 350 newton meters of torque. Top speed is 258 kilometers per hour, not to 100 in just 4.5 seconds flat. It comes with a six-speed TCT or twin clutch transmission. It does 14.7 kilometers per liter. CO2 emissions are 157 grams per kilometer. Its fuel tank has a capacity of 40 liters. Okay, looking at the interior of the 4C, it has been minimized to cut down on weight. And this carries over to the whole of the car, basically. The full digital display is similar to the Lamborghini's TFD screen. If you expect a lot of gadgetry, you might want to look elsewhere, as this car is all about the pleasures of driving in its rawest form. Power! It comes with two racing bucket seats, a driving mode selector, which comes with DNA, or dynamic, natural, all weather. There's also a fourth mode, race. Race is the most extreme performance mode and is engaged by moving the mode selected to dynamic position and holding it there for 5 seconds. There's also launch control and it's a couple of steps to do for launch control which I'll tell you a bit more later on. The layout and size immediately brings out one of the most beautiful coupes of all time to mind. The Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. And this is what this car is all about. Weight or the lack of it. Dry weight of only 895 kgs, 925 kgs with all fluids. It is a record that makes the 4C one of the lightest cars in the world. The central tub is slowly made of carbon fiber and weighs a modest 65 kgs. The body is made of composite material which is lighter than steel and even aluminium. Even down to the glass on board which is 15% thinner than your usual screens. The two long muscles which lend speed and dynamism to the side. The two robust ribs running along the bonnet, tracing the unmistakable V and coming to their natural conclusion around the shield. This together with the two side intakes form the famous trafoil, a distinguished trait of all Alfa Romeo cars. Stopping power is by means of Brembo's, four-piston calipers self-ventilated disc brakes. It's shorter than a Cayman but longer than an Elise. The entire tail section starting from the rear upper profile and the lower profile characterized by a large diffuser with aerodynamic spoiler and air outlets was subjected to extensive wind tunnel testing to ensure the best possible aerodynamic performance. And so once again, it's been a long wait for a lot of you guys who are asking us about the 4C, well here we are with this really amazing vehicle. First of all, uh, a couple of things that you might want to know about the 4C. There is no power steering, so it's all you basically and you know, it gives you a real physical and a really a real mental workout when you're driving this car. You have to be constantly focused uh, on how you're driving and you know, the way you drive. Uh, as a steering response to every uh, movement that you do. Okay, so uh, you know. If, if, so this, once again, said before, this is really uh, a true sense of the word being a sports car because everything is at your fingertips. 
So even down to the, the suspen suspension, basically, it's a sport suspension. Uh, it's hard. Can you trust me? Uh, trust me when I say this. The seats are on rails. Uh, you really, and I really mean, you really feel every bump in the road. Uh, you know, so this car is not a car that you want to take on to your shopping mall, to your grocery shopping. Uh, you know, a, a car that you just want to drive around from getting from point A to point B. This, my friends is a proper sports car. As I said before, you know, this car has, it's got a sports suspension, which allows it with its, uh, you know, the physical structure of the 4C. It's so wide and so muscular, uh, and with the right height of this car being really extremely low, it gives you the feeling of being really close to the ground and giving you the confidence, you know, especially talking about driving at high speeds, taking those corners and just eating them up for breakfast and this is really a really agile car I'm not kidding you up uh, at any speed uh, basically because of the height of this car even driving at 60 feels as if you're going at 100 which you're not of course having 240 horses on board with 250 newton meters of torque uh, it may you know it's not sound like much but just imagine this car dry the dry weight is about 800 over kgs uh, with all the liquids filled in, about 900 plus. Given that much power to weight ratio, it is really, really fast. And agile as well. And offering you different modes of drive pleasure, or as Alfa Romeo calls it, DNA, which stands for dynamic, natural, all weather. Of course, not forgetting there's also a fourth mode, which is the race mode. And with the race mode, engage, all electronics on this car is totally switched off, which means an even more fantastic mental workout, not only physically, but in the senses as well. And of course, it also affords you launch control. And there's a couple of things you need to do to get, uh, to engage launch control. Which I'll give you a short uh, text uh, during the drive just to let you know how you actually engage launch control on the 4C. And you're looking at something uh, in, in the range of between uh, 1.5 G's to accelerate. So it really you know, gives you that push in the back. So if you're, if you're kind of a person looking for some, you know, some creature comforts in the car, uh, there's no other forms of uh, you know electronics on board of this car. There's a, there's a stereo built in, but why would you want to have a stereo when you have a stereo in the back? And listen to that blow up. Uh. So once again, folks, to find out more about the Alpha 4C and get behind the wheel for a test drive, which I really strongly recommend you do, Head on down to Euro Automobile and get behind the wheel yourself. Now. Okay, let's summarize the whole driving experience of the Alpha 4C. Well, first of all, this is not the kind of car that you're gonna take out to do your grocery shopping with or even pick up the kids. This is a proper sports car, which means you're gonna bring it to a place where it can really stretch its legs and take advantage of the 1.8 liter turbocharger engine. Let's talk dollar and cents. How much is it going to cost you to drive the Alpha 4C home? Well, it's going to cost you 298800 inclusive of COE and the road tax is $910 annually. We'd like to thank Euro Automobile, the exclusive distributor for Alfa Romeo for allowing us to have the Alpha 4C for our presentation. To find out more about the Alpha 4C, head on down to their showroom at Taban Gardens. Well, folks, this wraps up yet another episode of Rev. To find out more information, head on down to our website below. Till we catch you again, drive safe.